What's up guys, my name is Andrew, also known as Wendy the Maker, and welcome back to the guest channel. Today, we're gonna be doing some DIY fashion and upcycling some crew necks and a jean jacket, and I'm gonna show you all the steps, so let's get into it. <laughs> For this project, you're gonna need something to cut with. I have a rotary cutter and scissors, a ruler, some elastic, some sewing pins, and a safety pin. Here are the crew necks I'm working with, and as you can see, there are some imperfections, and that is okay. So we're gonna start by upcycling those vintage crew necks into some sweatpants. All right, I'm gonna start by deconstructing the crew necks, just getting everything cut up, and then I'm gonna take my ruler and square off those logos. All right, I have all the graphics cut out, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the blank pieces. Now to make a pants pattern, you're gonna wanna take a pair of pants that fit you well, fold it in half, and then trace around it. So you're gonna wanna add about a half an inch of seam allowance all the way around, and then leave some space at the top to fold down for the elastic. So now I'm just gonna place my pieces on my pattern to get an idea of where everything's gonna go, and then I'm gonna sew it all together. So now that I have all the pieces sewn together in a big sheet, I'm gonna place the pattern back on top and then cut all the way around it. Now that I have this panel done, I'm just gonna repeat that process for the other three. And again, I'm just placing these pieces on the pattern to get an idea of the color placement. Cause if you don't like it, you can always move it around and just play with different placements. And here are all four of those leg panels laid out. This next step is optional and that is the pockets. Some people like to do an inseam pocket. Personally, I like to make an external pocket. I just think it makes it a little more interesting and I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is my pocket pattern. You can either make something similar to this one or mess around with your own shapes and sizes. What I like to do is fold the top down the same width as the elastic waistband and then place my pattern piece just so I can figure out what color I wanna make the pocket. So here's me cutting out my pattern piece, and once I have it cut out, I'm gonna put it face down on a piece of scrap fabric and pin all the way around. So once I have it all pinned down, I'm gonna sew a straight stitch all the way around the perimeter, but making sure to leave an opening so we can turn the pocket back right side out. Now I'm just gonna trim the excess all the way around the pocket. And then once I have that done, I can go ahead and turn it back right side out. So we're just gonna repeat this process for the other pocket as well. And once we have that done, we're just gonna iron out those seams so we can have it nice and crispy. I'm just gonna fold down that top again to leave the space for the elastic and then place the pocket and pin it on. I'm gonna sew all the way around except for the opening. Now that the pockets are attached, we're gonna assemble the leg panels and finish these things up. So I'm pinning the front leg panels to the matching back leg panels, right sides facing each other, and then we're gonna sew it all together. Once we're done sewing, we're just gonna go ahead and turn one leg back right side out. So now I'm gonna feed that leg that I just turned right side out and feed it through the leg that is inside out and pin it together. Now we're just gonna sew along this seam here, attaching the legs together. And now I'm just gonna serge this top part to give it a bit of a cleaner finish. I searched the bottom as well, and now I'm folding over and pinning, and then I'm gonna sew it down to clean up that bottom hem. Now I'm gonna do the same thing at the top and then sew all the way around, making sure to leave an opening to feed the elastic through. So now I'm gonna cut my elastic a few inches shorter than my actual waistband, take the safety pin, and then feed it all the way through that channel. And then you're gonna wanna pin one side down just so it doesn't slip through. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna sew that elastic together and then close up that hole. And here's how they turned out. 
Surprisingly, I really like these colors together. It's not something I would normally do, but I did it and it works. And here's how the pants look on body. It's a nice baggy fit, super cozy, and just overall pretty dope. So we're done with the patchwork sweatpants. They came out really smooth. Now it's time to customize the denim jacket. Let's go. So for this project, you're gonna need something to cut with, a stencil, I'm using the guest question mark logo, some basting spray, some scrap denim or canvas material, and then a towel. Let's not forget, in order to customize the denim jacket, you are gonna need a denim jacket. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my stencil and cut around it. And I'm using some like scrap canvas material to use and it's gonna fray nicely, which will come in handy at the end. We're gonna take our basting spray to attach the logo onto the back. It sticks on very nicely and it's just a nice alternative to sewing pins for a project like this. Once we have that stuck to the back, we're just gonna take it to our sewing machine and sew a straight stitch all the way around. Now that I have the logo sewn on, it's gonna naturally distress over time, but I'm gonna do some manual techniques just to speed up that process. So I'm just working my way around the edge and pulling some thread up with my fingers. And I know this might not be the best technique, but it works for me. So now I'm just gonna dampen that towel and then dab it all the way around the edge. I'm just gonna throw it in the dryer for a quick little cycle and then we'll be done. Here's the final product. And like I said, it's gonna distress more and more naturally over time. And here's how it looks on body. I think it's a really cool, simple vibe that I will definitely wear a lot. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. We made a cozy pair of sweatpants and sauced up a nice jean jacket. And once again, I'm Wendy the Maker, and thank you for tuning in to the guest channel. Thank you.